What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to delete WordPress plugins or themes when you do not have access to your WordPress dashboard or via file manager from your host or FTP cPanel. Let's imagine that you have just updated some WordPress plugin or theme and your site now starts this error message, for example, and you can no longer access your WordPress dashboard. There has been a critical error on your website. It's the most common one of them. And you can fix this and a lot of the a lot of other errors into your WordPress website simply by deleting some WordPress plugin. You do not gonna lose this plugin or the data that you just created, the page that you just created using this plugin. So no needs to worry. We just gonna delete this plugin to make your site comes back. And once we can go back to the WordPress dashboard, we're gonna reinstall this plugin, maybe in a previous version or maybe the new install gonna works fine. But the focus thing here is make your site comes back. So go to your WordPress dashboard. To start, you can go to the hosting account. I'm going to start using Bluehost. Click on Advanced in the left panel. And now go to the very first option on files. Call it File Manager. Here you can find a file called Public HTML. Click on it. Find your site title in the case that have more sites in this host, like I have here, or go to the WP Contents. On WP Contents, you can find your theme, that may be the problem, or your plugins. For example, here I'm gonna be deleting the 2017 theme. You can also use this section to upload files, but I show this in another guide. Let's imagine that the problem was on your team. As soon as we delete it, the WordPress is going to activate the default team or another team and your site comes back so you can go log to the dashboard and start fixing the problem. But the problem isn't solved yet. You still see the critical error on your site. Now do the same process. File manager, public agent, ML, WP contents, find some plugin that you think it's the problem. You can see a list of the dates where the plugins was previously was latest updated or modified. So you can have a guess. For example, your site was working yesterday, but today it's not working. And the unique thing that changes from this day is an update on the WooCommerce. So the problem is probably on the WooCommerce plugin. As a result, go to these files, find the WooCommerce plugin and delete it just for a moment, do not worry. You will not lose the products or the contents, the data from the plugin. This just gonna make your site comes back so we can find what is happening. Now, let me show you the process to access the file manager in using HostGator. In HostGator, once again, you have a left sidebar, go to products, into the projects, find your plan and click on cPanel. This gonna open the cPanel of our site, where you can access the file manager. Click on this, normally it's the very first option in any host, and we are good to go. Now, same process, public HTML, WP contents, plugins, delete some files, and check your site. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later. All the best.